Hi everyone, welcome to 40k on point, the channel that quantify warmer 40k. This video describes the fast attack choice for the orcs and it is using our quantifiable methodology. If you want to know more about the metrics that are used in this uh, video, please follow the link in the description. The units that will be uh, analyzed in this video is the Boom Daka SNAS Wagon, Def Coptas, Custom Boosta Blastas, Mega Track Scrapjet, Rocket Truck Squig Buggies, Storm Boys, and the War Bikers. The first unit is the Boom Daka SNAS Wagon. So for 90 points, you are getting one model that is armed with uh, the Mech Special the big shooter and uh, burner bottles and grud blaster the unit has a 12 inch movement weapon skill 4 plus which is good for a vehicle uh, ballistic skill 5 plus strength 5 toughness 6 uh, 8 wounds 4 attacks and a save of 4 plus the weapon are the big shooter 36 inch of range assault tree Strength 5, Grad Blasta, which is a pistol, a strength 3, and the Mech Special, which is a 24 inch Assault 9, strength 5, AP minus 2, damage 1, and the Burn Up Bottles, which is a grenade 2d6, strength 4. So for 90 points, you are getting 8 wounds, toughness 6, save 4 plus. Also, the Here We Go and uh, the Daka 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 rules were used for this analysis. Also the Grot Gunner that allows plus one to hit uh, with uh, the, the Big Shooter and the Grot Blaster and the uh, Billowing Fumes that uh, give some defensive bonus versus to hit when uh, that unit is targeted and the Riding Shotguns that uh, simply add grenades to the pistols. So overall, the Boom Daka SNAS Wagon perform well in our metrics. It reached an uh, overall score of 124%. That is, the unit uh, offensive output is uh, better than uh, its defensive cost. So overall, the unit, even if it has a weapon skill of 4 plus it's really uh, is not very good per point it's a 90 point unit and uh, not a lot of attacks and its shooting is uh, good uh, it's a dedicated anti-personal shooter uh, but what makes the strength of this unit it's his ability to take damage for uh, 90 points it has a good fortitude score and it also has a good mobility so all put together it makes a unit that is uh, more than worth its point so for 35 points you are getting one def copta model so that's a unit that has a 14 inch of movement weapon skill 3 plus ballistic skill 5 plus 4 strength 5 toughness 4 wounds 2 attacks and a save 4 plus it is armed for 35 points with a twin big shooter which is a 36 inch assault 6 strength 5 uh, weapon the here we go and daka 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 rule were taken into consideration so the turb turbo boost which uh, added 6 inch to the uh, move of uh, that unit instead of rolling the dice when it advanced and it is scouting, uh, scouting ahead was also uh, considered, which is essentially um, a scouting unit. The unit also is armed with spinning blade, which is a melee weapon. So essentially they have uh, four attacks of strength five. Uh, so it is for 35 points, something that uh, is uh, interesting with uh, a weapon skill of uh, three plus. On the defensive side, for 35 points, you are getting 4 wounds of uh, Toughness 5 and a save 4+, plus, which is uh, quite good. Because of its uh, low cost, 
This uh, unit performed very well in our metrics, reaching a score of 161%. Uh, it has excellent mobility and also uh, its fortitude score is very, very low. So that's a unit that can go and uh, take objective and uh, it will not be that easy to uh, take them out. Uh, when it comes to damage output, however, they're not exceptionally good in anything. <clears throat> they're not terribly bad, neither. I uh, would say against vehicle, it's not very good, however. But uh, overall, the damage output and uh, the offensive potential of this unit is better than its uh, defensive cost. So that makes a unit that is definitely worth its point. Next, for 90 points, we have the Custom Booster Blaster. And it is armed with a rivet cannon, four burner exhaust, and stick bombs, and the Grot Blaster. So the burner exhaust is a flamer. Uh, they got four of them, so it makes four D3 attacks. Strength four, and it automatically hit the target. The uh, rivet cannon is a 36 inch assault six strength seven AP minus two damage two. So it's like a big uh, auto cannon on steroid. Uh, and then we have the stick bombs, which is a grenade, uh, simple grenade. So for 90 points, you are getting eight wounds of toughness six with a save four plus. The Here We Go Daka 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 rule was taken into consideration, so did the Grot Gunner and the Riding Shotgun rule. The Spike Ram also was considered, which is uh, essentially uh, mortal wounds coming uh, at the end of a charge. So overall it makes a unit that performs extremely well in our metrics, reaching a score of 166%. It is a versatile uh, damage dealer, however, it is uh, close to 3 star in anti tank shooting, but 2 star and its anti personal shooting is very good. It's close for a 4 star on anti personal shooting. It has a very good uh, fortitude score, that means your the defensive cost is below average. So it makes a unit which is damage output uh, is better then it's a, a defensive cost so that makes a unit that is definitely worth its point next we have the mega track scrapjet for 110 points you are getting one model armed with a rocket cannon two twin big shooters wing missiles and a nose drill so the unit has a movement of 10 inch, weapon skill 4+, plus, ballistic skill 5+, plus, strength 6, toughness 6, uh, 9 wounds, 4 attacks, and a save 4+. Plus. The rocket cannon is like a multiple shot of the rocket launcher. Uh, so strength 8, AP minus 2, damage 3, 24 inch, and it is assault 2d3. The two big shooter gives a 12 shots of the uh, big shooter and the wing missile is uh, assault one, 24 inch, strength eight, uh, AP minus two, damage three. And it is a bit more efficient against Vico. This unit also has uh, some uh, melee capacity with uh, the nose drill, which uh, gives uh, four attacks of strength eight, AP minus two, and damage D3. The, for 110 points, you are getting nine wounds of toughness six with a save four plus. The here we go rule and the Daka 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 was also taken in consideration as with the Grot Gunner. Uh, spike Ram, which uh, gives uh, mortal wounds on charge, was also considered in the matrix. Overall, the Mega Track Scrapjet performed uh, very well in our matrix, re reaching a score of 158%. It is a very versatile shooter, both against tank and against infantry. It is okay in melee, both against tank and against infantry. Uh, while not being dedicated for that, it is okay. 
and its uh, fortitude score is uh, below the average of 10, so it is good, and it has a good mobility, maybe a bit less than the other uh, fast attack choice uh, for the orcs, but that being said, it is uh, still an excellent unit that is definitely worth its point. The next unit is the Rocket Truck Squig Buggies. So for 110 points, we get one models. They are armed with a lot of Squig Launcher, which is a weapon with uh, different uh, statistics. The uh, Bitey Squig was used for uh, anti-tank purpose and the bile squig was used for anti-personal purposes uh, also the unit is armed with a saw blade which gives four attacks of strength six ap minus one and one damage along with all the usual rules for the vehicles uh, this one has squig mines which allows once per battle to deploy a mine so that will deliver mortal wounds. That was not considered in our metrics. So on the defensive size for 110 points, you are getting nine wounds, toughness six, and a save four plus. So this unit uh, score a bit below average. It reached a score of 89%. Uh, the unit is having a good fortitude of 901, uh, but uh, the damage output is very low uh, per point, uh, so it, do, it uh, has difficulty to reach uh, its defensive cost. So the damage output is the below the, the defensive cost, so that makes a unit that is uh, a bit below to be worth its point. Next, we have the Storm Boys. So for 60 points, we are getting four, four Storm Boy and one Boss Knob. And they are all armed with Slugger and Chapa. The uh, Storm Boys are having a normal Boys stat line. Same with the Boss Knob, except that their movement are of uh, 12 inches. Uh, so that makes a lot of uh, attacks, 12 attacks of strength 4 and 4 attacks of strength 5. Uh, it has a good mobility for a 12 incher, but also uh, it has the Storm, Borks, Storm, Storm Boys Strike, which is a uh, deep strike capacity and full throttles so when they advance they can add six inch to their move instead of rolling the dice so the unit performed okay in our metrics uh, the unit has no shooting capacity uh, its fortitude score is uh, higher than average that means your defensive cost is quite high uh, you have a very good mobility and very good anti-personal melee capacity some anti-tank uh, capacity also in melee because of just the sheer number of attacks but overall the unit is not considered to be uh, uh, worth its point it's close but uh, not uh, uh, it's below uh, the, the the damage output is below uh, the defensive cost for 81 points, you get two war bikers and its snob. They are all armed with two Daka guns and the chopper. The war bikers have a movement of 14 inch, weapon skill 3 plus, ballistic skill 5 plus, 4 strength, 5 toughness, 2 wounds each, 2 attacks, except the knob that has a bit more strength and 3 attacks. And a save for plus. Uh, the Dakagon gives, uh, because they got two, it gives six uh, attack each with a range of 18 inch. It's a strength five weapon. Defensively, you are getting for 81 points. Uh, that would be seven wounds, toughness five, and a save for plus. The here we go and Daka Daka rules were taken into consideration for this analysis overall the war bikers performed well in our metrics they reach a score of 122 percent 
they have a good uh, anti-personal capacity, both in shooting and in melee. It's uh, less good when it comes to a vehicle. Uh, and they have also very good mobility and uh, their defensive cost is below average. So the damage output is bigger than the, fort dead, than the defensive cost. Therefore, the uh, overall value of the unit is considered to be uh, worth uh, more than worth its point. So definitely there are good choices for the orcs in their fast attack options. You have the Death Copter, which is main advantage is a very mobile and very uh, resistant unit, uh, more oriented towards uh, anti-infantry uh, damage. You have the Custom Booster uh, that is uh, also very, very good at shooting at against infantry. Uh, it is, has also some a little bit of score in uh, anti-tank uh, shooting capacity. You have the Mega Track that has a better anti tank shooting capacity, some anti personal uh, shooting capacity, and a bit more melee. Uh, and that comes with a cost of a more, uh, more, more defensive cost in its fortitude and also a bit less mobility. So, overall, you got three very good choices for the orcs. If we push further the analysis, the Death Copter is a very interesting unit, but it's very hard to find uh, force multipliers that can be applied to this unit outside uh, the, 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 the culture or something like that. So it's different, difficult to bring uh, that unit to a 200 uh, person value. That being said, definitely can be very useful to uh, take an old objective as it is cheap, fast and very resistant. The Custom Booster uh, as uh, different options, uh, it has the, the uh, custom jobs, so vehicles can have a, a special element and a sizzly rivet, uh, which allowed uh, one of its gun to do uh, mortal wounds, brings the unit to 185%, and it has a very uh, specific and interesting uh, stratagem, that is the burning highway that allows to increase the uh, efficiency of its flamers. So because the custom booster is having a lot of flamers, it does increase significantly uh, the uh, damage output of that unit. So that brings to a 268% value. The mega track also can be uh, increased in efficiency with a custom job. And uh, the corkscrew is the dedicated custom job for the uh, Megatrack Scrapjet. So it allows only one time, but to do a second uh, close combat uh, fight phase. So it allows the Megatrack to attack two times. Even if it's not dedicated in close combat, it is uh, very interesting and uh, it can definitely surprise an opponent uh, and brings the unit to a 100, 187% value. So if we include the, 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 the culture uh, or something like that, well, the, the mega track can definitely go in the 200% uh, competitive range. This video described the fast attack choice for the orcs using our normalized metrics. Please feel free to comment on how to increase the efficiency of those units. Subscribe if you like this content. I will upload all the units of 40K using exactly the same method. Thank you for watching, over and out.